This is the blood of one of my patients right at the time when he came to see me at the clinic. It, it looks like there's stacks of coins piled against each other. Those are red blood cells. They're not supposed to be like that. They're supposed to be separate from each other, nice and round, floating around the blood, transporting oxygen, and this is not happening here. The blood is so acid that they're trying to protect themselves. So in this person, there's not an adequate transport of the oxygen. You see these little dots in the background? These are bacteria in the blood. We are not sterile. In this particular person, the bacteria levels are way above normal. These dark spots here in the background are pieces of cholesterol. These pieces clog up the small arteries. The smallest artery is the size of one of these round red blood cells. So this one over here can clog a capillary preventing this from coming in. That's where hearts are clogged up with cholesterol pieces. That's where brain clots happen. And these are blockages that happen from these pieces. Bacteria continue increasing the acidity, making the problem worse. Here's a white blood cell. It looks very unhealthy. This is what happened 24 to 36 hours after taking Goji in that same patient. The cells have separated, meaning the blood is becoming more alkaline. It's transporting oxygen better. That's why they feel better right away. They're oxygenating better immediately. The bacteria floating in the background, they're still there, but it's better. This is a white blood cell in the center. It's moving up and it's becoming wider. This white blood cell is starting to wake up. It's supposed to move across the blood, eat the bacteria, eat the cholesterol pieces, recognize what's supposed or not supposed to be there, and have a good time, of course. Because it's just like us. Again, the white blood cell in the center is becoming wider because it's moving up and to the sides. Its edges are not fixed. They're almost like a jellyfish in many ways. But he has feet, he has ears, he has eyes. He can eat, he can go to the bathroom, he can talk. He has memory, he knows if he saw something three years ago. And he can impart the memory to other cells. Now, this is after five days. There's no more bacteria in the background, almost none. Now, the red blood cells are a little pale in the center. Even though they're separate from each other, which is a major improvement, they're still not dark enough. That means they don't have enough hemoglobin. They're pale. Therefore, they're anemic. This patient is still anemic. They're still pale in the center. And he's still a little bit acidic. You see these two shiny things in the upper left corner? These are uric acid crystals. Hence the name, uric acid. These are acid crystals. This person is getting better, feeling better, less bacteria. And after eight days of taking Goji, there's no more anemia, except maybe a little bit in the lower right-hand corner. But most of them have a good content of hemoglobin. So we're seeing at the cellular blood level how Goji and subsequent alkalinization of the blood is affecting the parameters that we know make a big difference in predicting how these people are going to do. Not only that, but this white blood cell looks healthy. It has well-delineated edges. It's not fussy like the first one we saw. Okay. This is a healthy white blood cell after taking Goji for approximately 10 days. It's touching this red blood cell very closely. It recognizes that it's part of itself. It doesn't attack it. But then there's something else down here. This is a fungus. This white ball is not supposed to be there. This is another fungus cell. They're, they're rather large compared to the bacteria that are floating in the background. So he senses that, and he goes after it. He sees it at a distance. It smells it. So he leaves the red blood cell alone, and he goes after this fungus. 
and he starts surrounding it. He's checking it out. This is what your systems are supposed to be doing. If they're not doing this, they're not at optimal health. So he's already got a hold of it. And little by little, he's going to engulf it and eat it. Because that's what this cell does. It already has recognized this fungus as something that's not supposed to be there. This doesn't happen automatically. But little by little, as you can see, it's surrounding it and it doesn't let it go. 